Sebastian. We miss our little, our little croissant. It's time to go get her back. It's like 500 meters to the south of you. Happy that. Why are you so happy? Because you get a ride to pick up also? It's not often that we break up for separate missions, but when we do, I always find it to be really cool. And I'm uh, excited to catch up with her and see how she's doing. Because we don't have internet, it's kind of like, I don't know. Okay, let's back up a second. The Solomon Islands have 67 language groups. Each group has a tribe, and different tribes made different art objects. Not only does the Solomon Islands art vary between language groups, it also varies over time. Artistic variations reflect their traditional cultures. Although the woodcarving continues in some communities, it no longer flourishes throughout the archipelago as it did 50 years ago. Nowadays, the two most renowned areas for woodcarving are Roviana and Morobo. Roughly two weeks ago, this happened. Today I have several meetings with some woodcarvers because we are in Morobo Lagoon, which is famous for its woodcarving. And I've been thinking about this since I got the boat. So we're going to get some bookcases made, as well as right here uh, on the table, we're going to get kind of like a serving area, which is going to be where we're going to have plates and maybe like our basil growing and some pots and like our hot sauces. But what we're going to get on the front carved is called the um, Spirit of Solomons, which is like everything you can think of sharks and manta rays and. So we're going to need several different carvers to get the project done in time. So I'm meeting with three villages and we're going to make good trades. Um, I have uh, another friend coming in from the U.S. So I'm going to have him bring a bunch of woodworking tools to trade with these guys. Stuff that's really hard for them to get here. Very important stuff. So previously we marooned Ocean on land and set sail north. Here's what she experienced and learned on that island. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. just dropped me maybe an hour ago. This house will be my house. It would be so weird to sleep on a real house, uh, not moving, mosquitoes, the sounds of the birds in the morning, of every little animals here. Sylvia has been asking for a lot of wood carving to those great wood carvers here and uh, I'm gonna film that for you and show you how special they are as a wood carvers here. How their community is working together. It's quite incredible that three villages are working together on this project. So I'm gonna be going from village to village and see how everyone is doing. So day one, hello. We are gonna go to service of uh, the church in the nearby village and uh, it's departure right now. Let's see how it's doing. that we have, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not a culture that we have. Okay. Our culture was different, yeah. but when we studied the, the Bibles, and uh, this Bible was wrote by the Hebrew and the Greek, okay. and this is uh, biblical, biblical. 
Day two. Uh, so we went to the market this morning. It was quite a thing. Big ferry is coming uh, twice a week to supply all the villages around. So it was full of people. It was quite uh, quite strange when you live on a boat of like seven people and and then you're in a full village of like 40 people. It's uh, it's a bit crazy. When I wake up. These two, it's, I made these two out from a file. Okay. The file that you can file the metal. Okay. And I shape it and I make it become a gouge. And that's a really nice one. So that's yeah. a round. It's a round. It's round. Very thin round. Yeah. Okay. And the handle is out from a lemon tree. Lemon tree? Yeah. Are they good the for lemon. It's this? really good. It's kind of rumba. Rumble. When you bump, bump, I mean, when you tap it hard, uh -huh. it will be very strong for oh. the mallet. Okay, that's strong wood. Yeah, it's, it's good. This, it's a chisel, and I made. You made it too. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's a good job. And you have a really important one right there. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the stone file. Yeah. More important one. Yeah. Always keep your tool sharp. Yeah, exactly. I still like. It. But this is the Switch brand. It's a really good brand. Yeah. What's the, the name? Switch. Switch. Carve in uh, one shape, and maybe this one will be another shape. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and this another shape. Can you make anything from any kind of wood? Or do you have certain oh, yeah. types of types of wood no, for no, no. certain you, you types of You can make everything job? out of every wood. You can make it. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe one day I can do that too. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The little V? Yeah. That's the a, v. Oh, that's a tiny V. Yeah, this is a tiny V. You can okay. go this way. Yeah. And also this one as well. To cut inside. So those ones are your three best friends. The best friend. <laughs> income here in Marovo Lagoon? First one is carving, secondly fish, thirdly um, carving. Shells? Shell, yes, shells. Yeah. Best Dima. Best Dima. Best Dima, yeah, but government controls that. Okay. Certain times it opens, they so open it and they close it again. They close the market yeah. of Mark shells? Yes. Hello, this is the third day. And so right now I'm gonna go look for Milton. He's the middle guy between the boat and the three villages. So he's supposed to um, be in charge of giving them the wood, uh, giving them the job and organizing all that. So that is the where I come from. And this is where I'm going, Tibara. They are cutting the wood right now, as you can hear. <laughs> can other woods can be called to make a carving, yeah. but these are very quality woods. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because on a hot place and cold place, it can mold this wood. Oh, it's yeah. very resistant. Yeah. It's strong wood. A very strong wood. Yeah. Okay. It's easy to work. Easy to work. When yeah. it's dry. Yeah, yeah, but need to dry it. Okay. So when my children go to school and come in primary from one and up to university, I just only find the money for the car. So you uh, pay them their school with your wood carving? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Handcraft. Yeah. With your own hands. Yeah.
just look for eyes and lens. Oh, yes. And after we look, the idea will be term and how to design what we do on that wood. So you think first. So you think first. Yeah. And think first maybe take for two and three years. Three years. Yeah. You cannot look and do it no. no. It's very hard. Yeah. It takes time. Process. Yeah. So the process will be first to look at the other one? Uh, look the other one and you try to take the tool and go and land for the other woods. Yeah. Tra train. Yeah, yeah, training. Maybe we want to do dolphin, but dolphin can look like shark. <laughs> How to training, yeah? Yeah. Paste, yeah. This type of woods is a black wood called ebony. Ebony. Yeah, king ebony. King ebony. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's it, royal yeah, ebony. Yeah, the same wood, if you have a color white, they call queen ebony. They cut the tree, which is a kerosene tree. Um, it's a very good tree, pretty strong, it can support to be on the hot or cold. Uh, that will be the best because the boat can maybe go on hot or cold weather. So strong wood, uh, easy to work, beautiful grain uh, as you can see. And um, they love to carve it uh, here. It grows a little bit everywhere on the, these islands. Uh, western province so yeah so now they are planing it with the electric plane that someone gently let them borrow uh, the tools here are very rare so if someone has a tool they all share it um, if um, they only have the tools when boats like us go come and bring them tools they cannot make them make it fly or ship it's way too expensive for them so um, that's why the boat has to, uh, if they want to have carving, it's really good to bring tools because it's how they can keep going carving. Their culture uh, will be a shame to, to lose it. They have uh, so many talents here. Anyway, so they're planning it, that's stage two. Uh, then, uh, okay, so let's do the stage in order. Step one will be to cut the tree. Find the tree, cut the tree, then depends of which kind of tree it is, they have to make it dry. Uh, so the kerosene tree, which uh, the one that they use, they have to wait about two days after they cut it to plane it. Otherwise, if they will work it, it will bind, uh, bend, it will bend. It's wonderful how everything here is uh, island time. <laughs> They move slowly, they eat slowly, they, they do things slowly, they enjoy to uh, to take time talking all together, chatting. Uh, that's, that's like island life really and I'm, I'm right on it. And it's really beautiful to see how no stress they, ha they have, how, how nice and gentle and and I don't know, it looks like um, they're happy, you know, it's like we're going too fast in our world today, I feel every time, it's all about timing, timing, you wake up, you go to work, you eat, you go back to work and you finish your day, you take our children, you go uh, quickly to sleep because tomorrow is working, but there it's nothing, nothing alike. It's um, they they enjoy eating together at dinner and then maybe they hang out uh, together till maybe 12, 1 in the morning. They wake up whenever the, their body feel like, then they go back to work maybe or just chatting. Depends if they have a project or not. It's just another life. It's crazy how it remains untouched by all the pollution we can have in our cultures today. It's, it's kind of a little paradise. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of beautiful to see that there's still some places untouched like this.
When you can do a wood chip like this, that means you're pretty good. So that dough will finish to keep it tight and then once the dough is inside it's never gonna move. Good morning! It is uh, 7.30 in the morning. We are Thursday. I'm going to kayak over Bailey to meet the carvers. And today is a big day because uh, they finally uh, finished to prepare some piece of wood. That's the day they're gonna begin carving. to see uh, how they're working all together. It's, uh, <laughs> we're like three carvers on the same piece of wood. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's incredibly fast. And now I really get it when uh, Milton was telling me, yeah, but you know, preparing the wood is the hardest job. He's uh, carving a turtle and he was like, oh, do you want to see one? Turtle! Turtle! Hello! Hello! Cookie! Cookie! <laughs> Eating fish. Yeah. Cool. With cassava. Beautiful. What are you doing with the net? Just uh, the fishing line. Fishing line. Yes. Preparing them. Preparing them. Do you go fishing sometimes? Yes. Yeah. So you go fishing. You go gardening. Yes. What do you do as well? Doing some work in the house. In the house? Yes. Take care of children? Yes. Weaving sometimes? Yes. Yeah. A mm. lot of things for you, eh? And the men's waiting for orders for tourists. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was really lucky to find Charlie and Maleva, very nice couple. They're taking great care of me. I want you to have my babies. Is that too much for me to say? I want to be with you when we're 80 and chase the old fears and young tears away. And I want to say I love you Have it mean more than just the words that lovers say 
the new day has come and sadly we have to leave this beautiful anchorage. I think everybody has been super happy here because we felt the freedom, nobody was around and yeah, it was too good. And yeah, we are saying goodbye to a little piece of heaven and we are he uh, heading back to pick up ocean. For me it wouldn't be a problem, maybe eh? we get stuck here forever. So <laughs> Probably been, I would say my favorite anchorage. Uh, that we've ever been to in Sofia, but I can say that yeah, I haven't been looking forward to leaving for this very reason. So we've got a nice big crew, which is always helpful. We've got people in the dinghy who will be uh, using. We have like a little handheld depth sounder, so we'll be checking the depths. We're gonna have Nerea up the maps, having a look, and then I'm gonna fly the drone as well. And we, between all of those things, hopefully we should be able to make it out. We're coming for you, Sian. She's been gone for over a week, maybe like a week and a half. So we miss our little, our little croissant. It's time to go get her back. Let's yeah, go. and hear all her crazy stories with the carving. Uh, I'm actually really excited. We haven't had almost any communication with her because we haven't had internet. So I'm very excited to hear how everything went because we don't really know what she's been doing or who she's with. Uh, so I think it's going to be quite, quite cool to catch up with her about all that. Most of all, I wanna know what you're thinking about. Most of all, I wanna know. Ethan's like 500 meters to the south of you. Meanwhile, some of the crew are being a bit less helpful. <laughs> Peace. After all, I love you as you are. I love you as you are. Dolphins always snaps me out of whenever I'm just feeling bored or lazy or yeah. not that excited about what we're doing and then I, I see dolphins and I'm like <laughs> I'm cleaning dishes so that we can after just enjoy the freedom of probably being alone again in this beautiful anchorage and maybe go some diving, see ocean back. I'm very curious about all her stories and go explore. So why are you so happy because you get a ride to pick up ocean? Uh, I get to go pick up ocean who I miss dearly. She's been here um, filming wood carving and stuff for the last how long has it been guys week like, week <laughs> so, uh, maybe more. but she's been uh living in the village and um recording the building of our wood carvings so i'm pretty excited to see how that all turned out it's not often that we break up for separate missions but when we do i always find it to be really cool and i'm uh, excited to catch up with her and see how she's doing but we dropped her off on the west side of um Morova Lagoon and then we went on the north side and then the west side and now we've come all the way back to the east side and now she's eight miles away just above us we've rounded Morova Lagoon now we're gonna go pick her up and blow this joint so cool. yeah. let's go Side. We left a, a crew with Milton at Monte Carlo, but this is amazing. Your wall is amazing. It's so deep. Oh my Dude, god. My depth sounder is not even finding the bottom. So, uh, good seeing you again, though, brother. Do you, um, have you seen a little French girl, a little white girl yeah. over there? 
Perfect, perfect. All right, thank you, brother. Working on it like together at the same time, like doing it is so cool. It is honestly way better than I thought it could have been. <laughs> so, wow. wow. How was it to make the carving of peanuts? No, it's uh, hard, but because we already you get used to how to make the covers, we are covers. So when we look in the picture peanut that you bring, <laughs> we picture it and we design it. Do you like to make it? Yeah, I like to make the pig. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to make the shape of the pig very attractive and enjoy, enjoy so the people get it and laugh every time. <laughs> uh, we all laughed when yeah. we got it. Yeah, yeah. Was funny. It was so good. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. doing such a great job. Thank you. Uh, if anyone like order <laughs> again the peanut design, <laughs> call us. We can make you what kind of design to that. Too. Now she's yeah. gonna be even more famous <laughs> thanks to your yeah. carving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> excited to see like how these actually turned out uh, so this is uh, something we've been looking forward to Amy says uh, we left New Zealand we knew that the wood carvers in World of Lagoon were world famous uh, we commissioned three different villages to get this done paid them well did a lot of trades uh, we had heard about them on our time on Delos if you ever saw that big tiki mask that they have down below in Delos that's where they got them from so we knew that, we were like, when we get to uh, the Solomon Islands, we're gonna get some awesome wood carving done. So let's go check them out. That's beautiful. So this is kind of like an ocean scene of Sylvia crossing. We've got a beautiful whale. Birds flying, We've got marlin and dolphin jumping. That's very detailed, that's beautiful. Oh look, look, this is the best of it. watching this like at the beginning and I also already thought it was impressive the work. Mm -hmm. I love it. Look. Nice. Good job guys. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah.
Next time on Expedition Drenched, we check out Marvin's Island, sailing through a sketchy passage to the outer reef, and we are very lucky to see some wonderful sea life after diving off the boat in Marvin's Garden. It's stressful. Stressful. My meter, my voice, I'm stressed. You never know who you, you will meet around and you have to look good, you know? So this is why I always wear an hat. Are you naked, Maria? Always. <laughs> if you ask, always. <laughs> Accidents We're happen. back in civilization, Maria. Put clothes on. Did you know you wanted to be a bird watcher when you were a kid? <laughs> Did you know you wanted to grow up to be a bird watcher? That's my official title on Sylvia. Oh. Canadian retired woman, <laughs> depends on the outfit. What's happening today? What's happening? You're scared. <laughs> She's scared. She's scary. She's scary. <laughs>